Anthony, how are you? Tell me here in the comments. Hello. How are you? Everything okay? Hello. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Are you okay? Are you good? Tell me here in the comments, how are you today? How are you, Beatriz? Are you good? Hello, Luisa. How are you? Are you guys good? Yes? I'm good, Beatriz. Thank you. Hey everybody. Very good. So guys, for today's seventh class, já estamos na sétima aula. Are you enjoying the classes? Estão gostando das aulas? Yes? Very good. Hello everybody. Are you seeing me? Vocês estão me vendo? Yes? I think it's stuck. Acho que está travado. No? Everything okay? <laughs> Hello, Davi. How are you? Yes, very good. So guys, we are in the seventh class. A gente já está na sétima aula. And today we're gonna talk about ability. Hoje a gente vai falar de ability. Yes? I asked you in the Telegram group. Eu perguntei lá no grupo do Telegram. What are you good at? O que vocês são bons? Yes? Very good. So... We are going to see today how to talk about ability, okay? Very good. Hello, Tainara. Hello, everybody who is arriving. Oi para todo mundo que está chegando. And we are going to start, yeah? To start, guys, we are going to review last class. Remember that I said that I didn't finish? Que eu não terminei? Yes? So today we are going to start with some topics of last class. Yes? Very good. Let's go. Very good. So guys, last class we were talking about food, right? Yes. I love to eat, you love to eat. We already know this. Oh, Beatriz, you still don't have access to Telegram. Guys, can you send the link here now? Vocês conseguem mandar o link aqui agora para o pessoal que não tem acesso ao Telegram clicar? É, last class, they sent here in the comments, Beatriz. Os meninos enviaram nos comentários, mas acho que como o vídeo já estava terminando, você acabou não vendo. Mas eu pedi para eles colocarem aqui nos comentários o link do nosso grupo do Telegram, que aí assim como a Beatriz que ainda não tem acesso, se você ainda também não tem acesso, vai direto para lá que eu mando todo o conteúdo que a gente viu lá no nosso grupo do Telegram e exercício para você praticar em casa. E tem hora que a gente fica conversando lá, papiando, fofocando, yes? <risos> então, eu vou ver se o pessoal consegue mandar aqui para você, tá Beatriz? Very good. So let's review here some topics from last class. Guys, what food is typical in Brazil? What food do we have here that is very Brazilian? Hmm? Tell me here in the comments. What food do we have in Brazil that is very typical? You know, something about specific, about typical food is that 
Many times they don't have translation. Muitas vezes não tem tradução. For English or other language. Ok? I'm gonna give you an example. Açaí. Last class everybody said they love the Açaí. Yes, I love Açaí. And Açaí is Açaí. Here in the United States, it's Açaí. Yeah? Very good. We have farofa. <laughs> uh -huh. I love farofa, Davi. Very good. We have also feijoada, right? <laughs> Great. And guys, help me here with some typical foods from other countries. Look at this one. Mmm, pizza. Where is pizza from? What is the country that pizza is typical? Hmm? Tell me here in the comments. What's the country? Is it from Brazil? I don't think so, right? Where is pizza from? Tell me here in the comments. Yes, very good. Pizza is from Italy. Mmm, I love Italian food. Pizza, pasta, I really, really like. And this other here. Mmm, this is more difficult. Polga soup. Mmm, this for us is the famous miojo, okay? But the name is polga. Yes. Where do you think folga is typical from? Hmm? Tell me here in the comments. I'm gonna give you some minutes. Hello, Juliana, and hello, Marina. Mariana, how are you, girls? Alexandra, hello, everybody. Where is folga soup from? This is very difficult, right? Pizza was okay, but polga is a difficult food. It's from Vietnam, yes? It's a very typical food there. If you go on Google, you're going to see everybody loves polga. It's a soup, sopa, okay? And they say it's delicious. I don't know. Good, so let's see here, guys. What did you eat today until today, until now? Tell me here in the comments, what did you eat until now? Hmm? I, I had um, cappuccino in the morning and bread with butter. I had cappuccino, bread and butter. And then for lunch, I had pasta and... And pasta, pasta and beef. Yes, this is what I had. And you, tell me here in the comments. What did you eat today until now, until this point? Yes, very good. I had cappuccino, bread, butter. And uh, for lunch, I had pasta with beef. And you? Tell me here in the comments. Why don't you tell me? I'm going to speak in Portuguese very fast, ok? Enquanto vocês estão me contando o que vocês comeram hoje, vou falar em português bem rapidinho. Pessoal, a gente tem um grupo no Telegram que é um aplicativo bem parecido com o WhatsApp, ok? Eu vi que vocês perguntaram aqui no, nos comentários. É um aplicativo bem parecido com o WhatsApp. Só que o Telegram a gente consegue mandar é, arquivos maiores e etc. Por isso que a gente acabou optando pelo Telegram. Então vocês têm que fazer o download do aplicativo no celular de vocês, ok? Ou vocês podem usar pelo, pela web, pelo computador, que não tem problema, ou pelo tablet, enfim. É, mas vocês têm que fazer o download, fazer o cadastro, bem parecido com o WhatsApp mesmo. E aí, assim que vocês cadastram, tem um link que vocês conseguem clicar e manda direto vocês para o grupo, para o nosso grupo do Telegram, ok? É, eu, eu pedi para os meninos, eu, eu não vi se alguém já mandou, mas se não mandou, até o final da live a gente vai providenciar para vocês o link para vocês clicarem e irem para lá, ok? É, mas tem que baixar o aplicativo e aí só depois que vocês fazer o cadastro, 
e depois vocês conseguem entrar no nosso grupo. Nesse grupo é onde eu mando todos esses slides, assim que acaba a aula, é, eu tenho outra aula <risos> em seguida, mas aí assim que acaba a minha outra aula eu envio lá no grupo os slides e os exercícios de apoio para vocês fazerem, praticarem, enfim. Então é interessante vocês baixarem e fazerem parte do nosso grupo lá no, no Telegram. A gente envia também... É, um reminder, um, uma lembrança para vocês lembrarem da aula, né? E cinco minutinhos antes a gente manda o link. Então vocês podem entrar por lá também, direto na nossa live, ok? Ó, alguém já mandou aí o link. Então, só clicar aí, vocês conseguem entrar direto no nosso grupo. Alright? Let me see now what you had. Deixa eu ver o que vocês já comeram hoje. Ah, Luísa, pasta and fish. I love fish, Luísa. Coffee and cookies, Tainara. Patrícia, for breakfast, she had yogurt. And lunch, pasta. Oh, everybody today has the same lunch, pasta. Very nice. Alexandra, rice, beans, french fries and chicken. I, I loved your lunch, Alexandra. Very, very good. So, guys, if you had to move, mudar, move for other country, what? Country based, baseado, based on the food, would you like to go? What country's food do you like the most? I would go to Italy. Because I love pizza, I love pasta. So I think I would be a very good citizen in, in, in Italy. I, I would love to go to there. And you, what country's food do you like the most? Tell me here in the comments. Let me see. I like French too. I, I, I have some friends that visited France and they say that the food there is really good, really good. But I prefer Italian. And do you like to try, to provar, try new food, novas comidas? Do you like? Yes or no? It, for me, it depends. I don't like a lot different things, but depends. And why am I asking this? Por que que eu tô perguntando? Hmm? Because we are going to see some of the weirdest food you can eat. As mais estranhas. Yes? What? Weird, estranha, weird food that you can imagine that people eat. Tell me here in the comments. Something very crazy. Yes? Beatriz would go to Italy with me too. <laughs> very nice, guys. Tell me here. What are some crazy food that people eat? Hmm? Tell me in the comments. And now I want to see if you would eat yes or no this food that I'm gonna show you. Vamos ver se vocês comeriam yes or no, ok? Oh, Alexandra said that I, she hates the food in the Serbia. Let's see some very crazy food now. In Thailand, they eat tarantula. Hmm. And you guys, would you try this food, yes or no? <laughs> I, I wouldn't, no, 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 no way, no, no, no way, I, I, no, I'm sorry, I can't, this one, no. And you, tell me here in the comments. Yeah, this one for me, no. Next one, in Southeast. Asia, they have this food there that the name is Balut. Yes? What is this, Bayata? Que é isso? Seems like an egg. Né? Parece um egg. It's an egg. It's a duck egg. Ovo de pato. But it's, it's a little more complex. Because it, 
the, 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 the duck is there. O patinho já tá ali. Yes? So, it, it's a, it's a, it's a cutting animal. É um ovinho bem nojento. Yes? But it's a very famous food there. People eat. Would you eat? I would. <laughs> no, thank you. No money for me. I would eat this. No, no, no. Leandro, no. Beatriz, no. Lisa, no. Beatriz said, my friend eats french fries and ice cream. Very different. Uh-oh. I can't. No. And the last one is in Hungary. That they eat pig blood. This, we have something similar in Brazil that we call chorizo. Yes? Do you have in your city chorizo? It's the pig blood, right? I don't know if it's for pig. Yes? I, I don't like this. And you? Would you try it or no? No thanks, everybody. Nobody wants this food, right? Please say no, no. <laughs> yes, Aline, no thanks. So let's just say in Brazil, everybody, everybody's happy. Yes, no problem. We're going to stay in Brazil. <laughs> Very good. And about desserts, guys. What's your favorite dessert? Let's talk about good things now. Let's jump about this crazy food, yes? What's your favorite dessert? I, I Everything that is sweet, é doce, I love. I really, really like sweet things. So let's see here some typical desserts from some countries, yes? In Brazil, we have what? Famous, very famous, brigadeiro, right? Do you like brigadeiro? Yes? I like. It's not my favorite, but I like, yes? In Argentina, we have Fortaleza de Mango. Mmm, this is good, yes? Are some... Some sweet empadinhas, tipo um empadinha doce, yes? With mango on the top. This one I would eat. Now it's not different anymore. <laughs> yes? And you? Do you like brigadeiro, mango, yes? Pudim, Glicéria says. I really like pudim with coconut. Co coconut. I love. It's really delicious. Ice cream, açaí. I love brigadeiro. I love everything, guys. In Australia, they have the Rocky Road dessert. This is very similar to something that we have in Brazil. That is, in Minas, we call pé de moleque. How do you call there? Pé de moleque, too. That is, these nuts. They put some nuts. Uh, green, green, etc. Nuts. Um, and it's very thick, bem duro, yes? So we have something similar in Brazil. I, I will eat this one in Australia. And we also have waffles. Ah, it's delicious, tell me. Huh? I bet you eat this sometimes on breakfast. Hmm? No? I have a really good recipe, a receita, recipe of this. I'm gonna send you in the group of Telegram for you to cook, okay? It's very simple. É bem fácil. After I send you. <laughs> Beatriz said she doesn't like coconut. I love Beatriz. And Aline loves pé de moleque. It's her favorite. Very good. So let's see some questionnaire here for us to see the difference between us. Because we live in different places, right? So let's see here. In our country, in Brazil, what do people have for breakfast normally? Last class we said that most, a maioria, most of the people have coffee, bread, and butter, right? Yes, I think it's the, the, the top breakfast that we have. Mm -hmm. And do people usually eat traditional breakfast here in Brazil? Or you think, no, anything. I have some cookies here, I'm gonna eat. What do you think? 
Tell me in the comments. Do people prefer tea or coffee? This is easy. I, I, I believe people in Brazil prefer coffee, right? Some people here in our group doesn't, don't like coffee. I remember. I remember that the people told me don't like de coffee. But a lot of people like. Do they eat a lot of fast food? Hmm? Do you eat a lot of fast food? I eat. I love fast food. But not as much, não tanto, not as much as Americans, right? <laughs> Americans, they eat a lot of fast food. Yes. Yeah. Do they eat a lot of food from other countries? Mm, I think yes. We eat a lot of pizza that is from Italy. Um, pasta that is from Italy. So I think yes. We eat a lot of food from other countries. And what do they eat on holiday? Feriados, holiday, or a special day? Like Christmas, Natal, Christmas. In my family, we have um, turkey, Peru, turkey, and rice, corn cream, um, farofa. I love farofa. Yes. Normally, we, we have some special things uh, for some holidays like Christmas. Easter too, na Pascua também. Easter, yes. Very good, guys. Now let's see. We talked in general about our country, about Brazil. Now let's see specifically about your family. Hmm? Tell me, where do you eat breakfast during the week? Who, where? In what place? Lugar. In your house or in your work? No trabalho. Work. Where do you eat breakfast during the week? I eat breakfast in my house. Sometimes, às vezes, I take to the school, eu levo para a escola and I have there. But normally in my house. And you? Tell me here in the comments. Next one. What do you have for breakfast on the weekend? Mm. We have, I, I have a very different routine during the week, durante a semana, during the week, and on the weekend, e no fim de semana, on the weekend. So, during the week, I have breakfast in my house. On the weekend, I don't have breakfast. Because I get up, levanto, get up, in the time of lunch. <laughs> I love to sleep, so uh, I don't have breakfast on the weekend. <laughs> yes, most of people here in, in my house, yes. Alexandra said two. Alexandra, when we want to point two things, Quando a gente quer pontuar duas coisas, like one and the other, in um e no outro, you can say both. Repeat with me, both. So, do you have breakfast in your house or at work? Both. Okay? Very good. Do parents and children eat the same food for breakfast? Ah, I don't have children in my house. But, yes, when I was a children, when I was a criança, yes, I used to eat the same food as my parents. Mm -hmm. um, what do you eat a lot of? Mm, meat, vegetables, pasta, rice. What do you eat a lot of? 
I eat a lot of chocolate. Yes, like Beatrice said, I'm a chocolate. I love chocolate, like a lot. Yes, and you guys tell me here in the comments. Where do you have lunch? At home, at work, or school, or in a restaurant? Ish. Now in quarantine, I have lunch at home, in my house. But when we are working at, at the school, quando a gente trabalha na escola, I have, I have lunch at work or in a restaurant. Hardly ever, muito dificilmente, I have lunch at my house. Yes? Very different routine in quarantine and normal routine. Do you eat in restaurants? Where do you go? Where do you like to go? Tell me here in the comments. I eat a lot, like I said. But now, in quarantine, no. It's, it's very difficult, right? Tá, bem difícil to go out and etc. Um, do you have dinner together with your family? I don't have dinner, dinner, like, same as lunch. Mesma coisa do lunch. I don't have. Normally, we have a snack, burger or pizza or anything like this. So, yes, it's together. Me and my husband only. Do you watch TV or talk at dinner? Yes, guys, I have a problem that I'm addicted to TV. Eu sou viciada em TV. I love everything. I, I love some stupid TV shows. I really, really like TV. Really like. Um, and here, tell me here in the comments. So I have, I, I have dinner or snack watching TV. Always. Lunch too. I have lunch watching TV. I love television. I really like. And I like some things very stupid. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but I love TV. And what's your family favorite food? Mm, this is very difficult. Because my husband and I, we are very different. Can you believe? To eat. He loves barbecue. And as I told you, como eu já contei, as I told you, I don't like meat. So, uh, normally we have barbecue and then he eats the meat and I eat uh, pão de alho. And yes, that's it. So, we are very different. We don't have a favorite food. He has his favorite food and my favorite food is pasta. For sure, lasagna. I love. It's my favorite. And yours? Tell me here in the comments so we move on. Yes? Alexandra said that she talks at dinner. Most of people have lunch at home. Very nice, guys. Tainara said she loves Japanese food. I love too, Tainara. I really like Japanese food. It's one of my favorite foods. Yes, it's not the favorite, but it's one of my favorite food. I really like it. Churrasco, guys, we say barbecue. Repeat with me. Barbecue. That's why we have that sauce. Por isso que tem aquele molinho. Barbecue. É muito churrasco. Yes? Ah. <laughs> Very good. So now let's talk about ability. What are you good at? Hmm? Think there. Pensa aí. What are you good? O que vocês são bons? I bet you are good at something. Let's see some verbs for us to talk about ability. Okay? So I want you to repeat with me. First one, cook. One more time, cook. Mm. Do you like to cook? Yes? I love. I already cooked, right? I love to cook. Next one, repeat with me. Speak. Speak. You can 
ele speak? Spanish, speak English, speak French, speak Japanese, tá, 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 tá. ok? Do you speak other language? I speak Portuguese, English, and a little of Spanish. But um, I, I learned, eu aprendi, I learned a lot of Spanish with Shakira, yes? Uh huh, kidding. <laughs> so a little of Spanish, just a little. And you, tell me here in the comments. Next one, repeat with me, dance. One more time, dance. Mm -hmm. Sing. One more time, sing. Do you like guys to sing and dance? Yes or no? Tell me in the comments. I like to sing, but I'm not good. As you can see, como vocês já conseguiram ver, my voice is tá cara rachada, so I'm very bad to sing, but I like. <laughs> Repeat with me, draw, draw, paint, paint. Very good. One more time. Draw, paint, mm -hmm. good, swing, repeat with me, swing, ski, one more time, ski, repeat with me, Ride. Ride. You can ride. A horse. Ride. A bike. Ride. A motorcycle. Alright? Repeat with me one more time. Ride. Excellent. Um, yes, Glitteria says she likes to sing and Luisa likes to sing and dance. Very good. Now repeat with me. Do. Do. You can do karate, yoga. Do you do any of these activities? Uh, four, four years ago, I used to do Muay Thai. I love Muay Thai. My teacher was very, very good, but he stopped teaching. My teacher was the best, but he stopped teaching. Fica aqui minha reclamação, viu, teacher? Come back, volta na aula, please. <laughs> he was very good, guys. Good. So, Alexandra says she likes to draw. Beatriz speaks Portuguese and a little Spanish. Very nice. Aline loves to ride a horse. Oh, Beatriz, very nice. She speaks Libra. Very nice. And Tainara is trying to learn French. Excellent, guys. Very good. Repeat with me. Fly. One more time. Fly. Mm -hmm. I believe I can fly. I'm not going to sing. Deixa eu brincar. Vou cantar. Drive. Repeat with me. Drive. Mm -hmm. And play. One more time. Play. You can play the guitar. Play the violin. Play soccer. Play volleyball. Play basketball. You have a lot of things to put together. Tem um monte de coisa para colocar junto, together, with play. Ok? Good. So, let's see some others here. Vamos ver mais algumas here. Repeat with me. Ski. Ski. Dive. No, I have a very bad experience with this. 
Então, essa experiência horrível with Zai. Yes? I, I can't. I'm very bad. Kate rides a horse. Ride my bike. Skip. Sail. Rollerblade. No, I used to love this one. Eu amava ele. Surf. Surf the net. Ah, this is very good, right? <laughs> Climb. Climb. Swim. Play the guitar. Play the violin. Play the piano. Sing a song. Jump. Play tennis. Play football or soccer. Depends, okay? In British English, in English Britannic, British, they say football. And in American English, they say soccer. Okay? Football in American English is the one with the hands. Okay? And play basketball. Very good. So now, guys, I want to see what are you good at. I want you to complete this phrase for me here in the comments. I can me Mayara. I can surf the net, swing, play the piano, and jump. These are the only things I can do. Yes, and you tell me here in the comments. Uh, Alexandra said I love sports. My favorite is volleyball and soccer. I guys, I'm terrible with it. You have no idea. And yes, no, I can't ride a bike. If you are asking yourselves. Vocês estão se perguntando, né? Because most of people, they ride a bike, né? Eles conseguem ride a bike. But my other, no. I can't. I, <laughs> I have a really bad story with riding bike. So, I can't. Tell me here in the comments, what can you do? I can surf the net, swim, play the piano, and jump. And you, tell me here in the comments. My face is, is blocking here, né? Meu rosto está tampando. I'm gonna disappear. Vou desaparecer aqui for you to see. Vocês verem o finalzinho aqui, ok? E volto. Bye. Tell me here in the comments, what can you do? I can surf the net, swim, play the piano and jump. Luisa said, I can surf the net. Only Luisa, so I see, only this. Glee said I can ride my bike. Very good. Yes. I can't, Glee said. I'm very bad with bikes, guys. You have no idea. Good. So let's go. So let's see here. As I told you, I can play the piano. Mm. Yes, a curiosity about my other. I can play the piano. So, let's see here some uh, grammar, the structure, okay? A estrutura of our phrase. So, in this phrase, I have I, the subject, can, can in English, they call modal verb. It is shown de modal verb. So, can a can, okay? So, subject plus can plus... My verb, look, I'm going to use my verb in the base form, na forma base, alright? Subject, can, and my verb. 
In this phrase, is it affirmative or negative? Tell me here in the comments, is it affirmative or negative? Juliano said, I can ride a horse, ride my bike, swing, play the guitar, play football, sing. Hey, Juliano, no, we have an artist here. Juliano, Mariana too, I can swim, play the guitar, ride my bike, jump, surf the net, sing a song. Eita, guys, you're good. Okay, so this phrase is affirmative. Very good. So for affirmative phrases, I can play. Subject can verb. Okay, very good. Do you know Eric Jacquin? Yes? Mm, he's a very famous chef from Master Chef. Yes? So, of course, Clan, of course, he can cook. Yes? Yeah, very good. So, let's see now. Because um, in the other classes we had, we used to change. A gente costumava mudar, né? For he and she. And this one, e nesse. Mm, let's see. I have he, the subject, can, and my verb. Mm. So for can doesn't change. No, doesn't change. It's the same structure for all of the subjects. Okay? É a mesma estrutura para todos os subjects. Very good. And this one is one more time, affirmative. Very good. So let's see here some other examples. Tell me here in slash what he can do. Tell me in the comments. He can what? Slash. Do you know slash? He, he's the. the ah, I can't see. Eu posso falar que eu vou dar dica. But he is part of Guns N' Roses. Yes? So what can his lash do? Tell me here in the comments. He can... Dun, dun, dun. He can play the guitar, yes? He's really good. He's really good with guitar, with the guitar. Mm -hmm. So he can play the guitar. Very good. And... Beyonce, Beyonce. Oh, what can Beyonce do? Oh. For a slash and Eric Jacquin, we use it he. For Beyonce, is he? Vamos a he? No, right? I'm going to use it. She. Very good. So, what can she do? Tell me here in the comments. Beyonce. She can. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. She can, yes, Beyonce, she's very good, so she can dance and sing. I can't dance or sing, but Beyonce, she can dance and sing. Simultaneously, okay? Simultaneamente, yes, she can. <laughs> she can sing, very good, guys, perfect. Now, as I told you, I can play the piano, but I can't sing. I'm a disaster singing. I'm a disaster. I can't sing. Tell me here in the comments something that you can't do. What you can't do. I can't sing. And you? Tell me here in the comments. What you can't do. I can't sing. I'm very bad. Yes, very good. So let's see here some structure while you tell me. Quando vocês me contam, I'm gonna show you the structure, okay? We have now subject I can and then see there. This is not. Yes. So, subject, can, not, and the verb. Mm, 
And these phrases, positive, affirmative, or negative? Hmm? Negative. Very good. Ah, so to make a, a for, an affirmative phrase become, transformar em negative, I add, eu só adiciono not? Yes, you're right. Pay attention on this girl. Can't. Repeat with me. Can't. One more time. Can't. Mm -hmm. Can't. Is the contraction of can plus not. You can also use, você também pode usar, cannot. Repeat with me. Cannot. Mm -hmm. We use cannot to emphasize. 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 Yes? So look, I cannot sing, all right? I cannot or I can't sing, okay? Very good. The guy said here for me, Beatriz, I can't, I can't paint, Leandro, I can't cook, Marina, I can't dance and glisteria. Yes, guys, we need to improve our abilities. Então, precisamos melhorar as habilidades, yes? <laughs> So, very good. Let's see here about Michael Phelps. Tell me something that he can do and something that he can't do. Hmm? Tell me here in the comments. Michael Phelps. He can swim very well, yes? But something about Michael Phelps, a curiosity. Curiosidade. Curiosity. He can't ski. He is bad. Mm -hmm. So he can swim, but he can't ski. Okay? And Bruno Mars. Mm, tell me something that he can do and something that he can't do here in the comments, please. Bruno Mars. Do you like Bruno Mars? I love Bruno Mars. So Bruno Mars, he can sing. Yes, his voice is very beautiful, in my opinion. But he can't. He can't play baseball. Can you believe? Bruno Mars is a bad baseball player. He can't play baseball. Yes. <laughs> And Martha. Woo! What she can do and what she can't do. Tell me here in the comments. She can. Very easy, this one. Beatriz likes Bruno Mars. Tainara loves Bruno Mars. Yes? So, Martha. She can play soccer, right? She's the best. Ela é melhor, the best. And what Martha can't do? Tell me here in the comments. What do you think about Martha? She can't. Guys, she can't dance. Can you believe? Martha can't dance. <laughs> yes, she can't dance, but she can play soccer. And Anita, for us to finish, para terminar. Anita, what she can and what she can't do. Hmm? Mm. Tell me here. In the comments. Don't forget, guys, for boys or men, we say he. But for girls or women, we say she. Okay? So, let's see about Anita. I put that she can dance. Right? Do you like Anita? And she can speak Japanese. <laughs> Anita speaks Spanish, English, Portuguese, and French, I think. But she can't speak Japanese. So far. Até agora, né? Because very good. She can play soccer. Excellent, guys. Very good. So look, for you to do in your house now, I'm going to send you 
in our Telegram group for you to complete for me, okay? You are going to complete these phrases here with positive, affirmative or negative and the correct form of can, all right? So, there is a challenge for you, desafio para você. Complete and send me, all right? So, bye-bye. See you next week now, right? Um, yes, next week. <laughs> Today's Thursday. I'm lost in quarantine. Eu tô perdida nessa quarentena dos dias, guys. So, see you next week. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you so much for participating and interacting. And don't forget to enter in our Telegram group. Someone sent there in the comments. Alguém mandou lá nos comentários, ok? O link para vocês entrarem no nosso grupo Telegram. Bye-bye, everyone. And see you. Have a really, really good night. See you. Bye, guys. Bye, Juliano. Bye, Tainara. Bye-bye. Kisses, kisses for everybody. Yes, Juliana. I'm gonna send the link again. Uh...